Hey guys, this is AI Product Reviews and I am unboxing something that I did not even know I needed in my life until yesterday. And as soon as I saw that it existed, I pulled the trigger, got the next day special delivery and it is right here before us. This is an alarm clock from a company called Bellman & Symphone. The product is actually called Alarm Clock. And in this case, it's Alarm Clock Pro. There are two other models. There's a classic model that's below this. And then there is a visit model that is above this. So this is the mid-tier clock. And this hits the sweet spot as far as the features that I was interested in. Now, long story short, this is a very comprehensive alarm clock. What you see here, these are little lights, okay? Those are LED lights and they can strobe to wake you up. And then the alarm clock, from what I understand, is supposed to be pretty loud, but one of the uh, highlights, may as well go ahead and flip this over and let you see all of this right here. It's kind of hard, oh wait a minute, let me take the zoom back. There you go. All right, so, it's still kind of hard to get in one shot, so let me try to tilt the box for you. All right, so right here where it says powerful bed shaker, yeah, it shakes your bed. It has, oh, and it has a night light too. So the ring around it, that's a night light. It's a very easy to read LCD. It has flashing strobe lights and it shakes your bed. This is serious business to wake you up. Now, one of the interesting things about how you can use it is you can use just the sound or you can use just the lights or you can use just the vibrator or you can use a combination. And I'm probably going to try the vibrator and or the lights. That's what I plan on doing because I need to wake up before other people in my house and I'd like to try not to disturb them. Now that's my use case for this. Now the thing is, this is actually designed for people who are hearing impaired. So if someone is just some sort of hearing impaired or partially deaf or fully deaf, this is an item that is supposed to help them out. But I ended up in my search for some kind of vibrating alarm clock coming across this and it turns out there's a lot of people who are not hearing impaired who are still interested in the product for the same reason I am. Uh, if you share a bed with somebody though, the bed shaker, that's going to wake them up. And if you have the lights flash on you, that could still possibly interfere with the person who's in bed with you. So that's something to think about, but if you have a roommate or someone who's not sharing a bed with you, it's pretty good in those situations. Anyway, we're just going to do a quick unboxing. One thing that has me minorly concerned, I got this on Amazon, and there's just a piece of scotch tape across the top. Now, sometimes when you get something from Amazon, you can get a product that somebody else has already opened and sent back. And that might be why there's scotch tape, or this company might just use a little piece of scotch tape. I truly do not know. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd bring that up, because when I do unboxings, they are to be informative, to let you guys know what my experience was. So yeah, I bought it from Amazon. Now, the classic version of this is available at Best Buy, and usually I would like try to order through Best Buy. I do reward programs with them here in the United States. Uh, there's your paperwork in there some paperwork. Anyway, oh yeah, that is in there. Look at that. That does not look like the right way for that to be in there. See how that's, that's, um, it's, first of all, it's not flush. You would think it would be flush. And then, hmm. Yeah, I bet this is, see, this is supposed to be new. It even says on the bottom of the box with the serial number and everything that it's new. But I am not sure if this one's new or not. And then the smart alert sticker is on here crooked. I don't know if that means anything. And then this piece of plastic looks like it has dirt under it. Ooh, sorry for how that, let me peel this away from the microphone. Sorry, I had the microphone turned up uh, so it can hear me. All right, so Anyway, it is a nice designed item. It's um, a little bit bigger than a baseball, a little bit bigger than a softball. I'm going to have to do a video for a review and how to set it up. It does have a battery backup. Um, this one here... Hi, I need to pause the video and let you know that I did make a mistake in this part. And unfortunately, I continued to make that mistake for the rest of the video. 
When I ordered this alarm clock, I was under the impression that this mid-tier alarm clock pro model did not have any connectivity jacks on it whatsoever. So when I saw the telephone jack, I was caught off guard and I started trying to guess what it could be used for. And almost all of those guesses were wrong. Those guesses were based on the functionality of a higher tier alarm clock. Now I do make that distinguishment in the video. I do say that I was expecting those features to be with the higher tier clock, but since this clock had a jack on it that I was not prepared for it to have, I did make a lot of incorrect guesses. So those guesses that I make, this clock does not do that. And I think a lot of people would understand that, but I wanted to make it very, very clear so no one is confused and goes out and buys this clock thinking it does these things. So the guesses that I make, most of those guesses are wrong. That jack is only there for phone calls, and I do apologize for that mistake. Please enjoy the rest of the video. I'm not sure. See, this is the mid-tier model, okay? The, I know for sure that the top-tier model can connect to your doorbell. Um, and that way, like, seriously, it will shake your bed and flash lights at you if someone's at your door. Because, again, if you're hearing impaired, you might not be able to hear somebody knocking on your door. And the idea is someone comes by your house, knocks on the door, rings the doorbell, and so on. Um, this can alert you. It can also be connected to a baby monitor. Again, the top tier model can for sure. Um, I'm not sure about this mid tier one. Again, I'll have to do all that in a review. But see, it's got the land jack on it right here, which is probably not even called a land jack um, in this context. But, and it even says EXT trig, which I assume means external trigger. This one actually might be able to hook into the systems. Okay, so this company, uh, Bellman and Siphon, what they do is, again, you can have it go up to a baby monitor. You can have it connect to a baby monitor so your baby cries, and then this can alert you. It shakes your bed, flashes the lights, and so on. Someone goes to your door. But then also they have this for um, in case there's a fire, so your smoke detector. Maybe, maybe for smog, if not smog, I'm not sure. That smog might not be the right word. Um, I'm doing a live unboxing here. The um, carbon monoxide. I've got, I've got one such detector in my home right now. Anyway, this looks new here. This looks really good. Maybe there was just some unfortunate boxing situation. Maybe it was boxed weird. I'm not sure. Also, the EXT trigger thing I'm now starting to think is where this plugs into. Or No, actually, no. This has its own jack. See? If I can get this to focus. There you go. This huck right here. Remember, this is a live unboxing. It is not scripted, and I did not know what was in this box before I began recording. All right, so that puck goes under your bed, and it's about hockey puck size. You can put it under your pillow. I've read reviews from people saying that it's a little bit, uh, it vibrates a little bit harshly to be going under a pillow. So I'm going to try it under my mattress tonight, and then I'm actually staying up to record this. I really wanted to share this video with you guys, but I also really wanted to um, be able to use this thing. You know, the stickers on Crooked, the more I look at this, I mean, it looks pretty clean. I don't know, maybe it was just packaged in an unfortunate manner. Because it really did seem like there was dust under the plastic film. Um, these are the lights, by the way. There's the speaker. Although, it does look like there's a... There, there's, let me see if I can clean the screen. The screen looks like it has a little bit of scratching on it. Let me see. I'll keep you guys posted. When I do the actual uh, video on how to set it up and I do a review, I will uh, keep you posted there. In the meantime, uh, Bellman and Siphon, uh, they do have a YouTube channel. They actually do not have many view, uh, subscribers. I think they have like 400. Uh, they make nice stuff. This looks like a very nice product. So you would... And, it's an interesting product in my opinion. It is, I'm sorry if that's really loud for you guys. I'm experimenting with a new microphone setup that I've never used before. And it seems to do well for voice, 
might be too loud for um, stuff. I'm, I'm literally just dropping a box on the floor and it sounds like, I don't know, chaos. Alright, so there's the AC adapter, there's the puck, there's the device itself. I For some reason I feel like it needs to be on a pedestal. Like it, whoa. Like it needs to be on a pedestal, but these are the three little feet. The power cord is going to go in here, alright? And then due to the fact that it has um, like a channel down here, and there we go. I just pulled out the battery backup tag. So you'll be able to set it down. Matter of fact, this thing has turned itself on and I'm clearly, I, I clearly do not have this plugged up into a, uh, you know what? Yeah, it's very legible. So I don't know how this thing works yet. I've not used it. I have high hopes for it. Hopefully my hopes are well-founded. Because, honestly, I like the idea of being able to wake up with the lights. I've actually considered one of the alarm clocks that does like a sun lamp. But those on their own are actually more expensive than this. This is the mid-tier model. It's $99. The, there's the model below it that does not have the lights. That's only $70 or $80. So you're paying an extra twenty to thirty dollars for lights. Although I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure which models are going to allow um, to connect to your home system, the the smoke detector and so on. And I do believe if you really want it connected to your smoke detector and your baby alarm, uh, your baby monitor, and things like that, you're going to have to go with their versions, which are probably not going to be cheap. I mean, let's be honest. But still, I like it. I like this concept of being able to be alerted in a way other than audio. I like the idea of lights. I like the idea of vibration. Um, I literally don't know a single person in my personal life who would use anything like this. And their YouTube channel only has about 400 subscribers. Their videos really don't have that many views. And their products don't have that many reviews either. So the videos don't have that many views. And their products, when I go to Amazon, when I go to Best Buy, when I look around on the internet, not that many reviews of the products. So I thought I'd make this unboxing because there seems to be this vacuum of information about this company and these products. And I am highly intrigued by this idea. I love, I know I'm repeating myself, but I truly do love the idea of waking up in some other fashion than just having an alarm clock go off. Now, I'll, I'm still going to have a backup alarm clock. I'm not, you know, I haven't even tested this thing out yet, but maybe eventually I won't. We'll see. We'll find out. Oh, for what it's worth, people who are heavy sleepers have said this helps them but again I've not tried this and there are cheaper bed shaking there are cheaper bed shaking alarm clocks on Amazon and I was going to go with one they're like $30 really they're $33 somewhere like that you know plus tax uh, this is $99 plus tax so tremendous difference in price uh, and they have flashing lights on them but they don't seem to be as intense again this also this is very legible uh, it's, it's got the night light that goes around it. It's got these lights. It's very loud. So, um, the other ones I looked at the, like the $33 ones is one of those things where you might get what you pay for, or you might not. I'm going to try this out. This might be amazing. It might be wonderful. It might be fully worth the $99 and I'm going to tell everyone, or I might end up getting the $33, uh, competitor. I don't know. We're going to find out. This is a new adventure for me. 72 hours ago, I didn't know these products existed, so I'm pretty excited. All right, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully it has in some manner been helpful. I got an AC adapter. I got a bed shaker. I got the unit itself. The packaging was a little unfortunate. It was only closed with scotch tape. The sticker's crooked. This was in there crooked. The, the plastic film on the front of it did have dirt under it for some reason, and it was wrinkled. I don't know if this has been, if this is a product return or 
refurbished or what. I do know that when I bought it, I selected it as new. $99 is the new price. And it did say new. The seller uh, who sold it on the box, their sticker, said new. So we'll, we'll find out. The more I look at it, the housing of it looks fine. The LCD screen does have a couple of spots that look like there could be an issue, but we'll find out. It doesn't, it sits at a weird angle. Actually, here, let me unplug it. Give you guys one last glance around. And again, I have a different microphone set up. Um, it's got an amplifier and, and that's turned up. And I think some things sound better than usual and some things might be a little more annoying. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work it out. For what it's worth, guys, I am just a human being, a product reviewer, if you will, like, when you read a product review on Amazon or Best Buy or Target or whatever, I just have always considered myself like someone like that who goes through the trouble to make videos. But I haven't considered myself to be a professional video maker. But as time has gone on, I've tried to get better at making the videos and it's a learning process, let me tell you. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Have yourselves an excellent day. I definitely plan on telling you guys how this worked out for me. Have yourselves a good one, and uh, see you later. Please like, subscribe, all that jazz. Thank you very much.